Ha, 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 ha. Hey, we're good eats at cooking with your girl. We need all of that. Hey, dishes on dishes, trying all of that. And you know you can't forget about good eats. With your knees, oh good eats. With your knees, we got good eats. With your knees, the party's where we're at. Let me hear you say. What is up you guys? Welcome back to another episode of Good Eats with Shanice, the very first episode of 2020. I am your host for the evening and here is my lovely co-host by the title. You guys already know we're about to switch it up a little bit because last year I went on a healthier lifestyle journey. So we incorporated better dishes with better ingredients, cleaner eating, but now let's be a little more intentional about our leftovers. Let's just not have leftovers to say that we did them, but let's meal prep. Let's put good things into our dishes for our days at work and then also our long nights after we come home from our nine to fives. Did that sound good? I think that's pretty fair and it actually works out in our favor. Not even going to kid you guys. So for the dish we're going to be making sweet potatoes, the carbs that you don't have to worry about. Also still head trout and some broccoli on the side. So we have our carb. So to say we have our protein and then we also have our veggie. If you guys aren't up on game, let me put you on period. Number one, Walmart has these cute little meal prep bowls for $2.88 for five and then they have like 15 for like seven dollars so i'll link them down below in the description box because they're definitely a steal the only place you used to be able to find them was amazon but now they're at your friendly neighborhood walmarts and then number two still had trout it's the same exact look and somewhat texture of salmon but it's cheaper okay 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 Roll a commercial. Give me a break. Okay, so my favorite thing about this dish is that it's super simple and the longest cook time you have is actually your sweet potatoes. However, if you know anything about your girl, she likes to work smarter and not harder. So the very first thing that we're going to do is preheat our oven to 400 degrees and then we're going to move in, wash our potatoes nice and thoroughly because for some reason, they're pretty icky so i like to just take some warm water and i like to really 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 wash those potatoes extremely well and then once i'm done with that of course i'm going to pat them dry i'm also going to place them on a cutting board and if you guys are familiar with my twice baked potatoes i'm going to use that same method of piercing the potatoes with a fork to create a little ventilation to speed up the baking process Now that my potatoes are all nice and pierced, I'm going to take a cookie sheet with a layer of foil on top of it. I'm going to place my potatoes on top of that foil and put them on the top rack of my oven and let them go for an hour. In the meantime, this is gonna be what helps you forget you're waiting an hour for your potatoes to cook. You're gonna take your fish, you're going to clean and prep it, and then also you're going to chop, clean, prep and cook your broccoli so by the time they're done you boom your potatoes are done as well so the very first thing that i like to do is remove it from the pack i actually rinse it off put it onto my cutting board and then i take a lemon i cut it in half and i squeeze it on there this really helps to eliminate that fresh fishy type of smell and taste if you guys know what i'm talking about and then also some grime you know ungodly things crawling around there and yeah the slimy part of fish that nobody likes i don't know about you don't judge me judge your mama but that's what this helps to do i like to kind of let that lemon sit on there for maybe 10 to 15 minutes and then i go in i rinse it off completely and now it's time to season our fish I 
like to pat it into my fish to really let that flavor soak in and if you feel like you need a little more add as needed season to your liking season to your taste season with whatever you like to season with now I'm gonna take a knife and I'm simply going to divide my fish into sections which will ultimately be what I separate in my meal prep bowls with my vegan substitute butter. I'm gonna go in and I'm going to take maybe about a tablespoon on the back of my spoon. I'm going to take a knife and then I'm going to place that butter into the slits. That way it cooks nice and thoroughly throughout the fish. It gives it a nice little taste and texture. It keeps it nice and moist. We don't want no dry fish, okay? Now I'm just going to take some foil, cover it up, place it in the refrigerator and let it marinate for a little second because it's not gonna take nearly as long as those potatoes or that broccoli to cook. Now, moving in with my broccoli. I took about a thousand heads of broccoli. I don't know where I thought I was going, but you know, all vegetables get to shrinking once you put them in the pot, so it's better to be on the heavy side versus the lighter side. So all I'm simply going to do is chop my broccoli up and then I'm going to remove those stems, any type of leaves that are hanging on. I'm going to place them in to my straining basket. And then once I'm completely done, I'm going to give it a thorough rinse. I'm really going to maneuver that broccoli around and make sure that I'm getting each and every floret before I let them kind of air dry for 15 minutes and then put them on the stove to cook. Okay, so now that my broccoli has had some time to air dry, I'm simply going to take my skillet, set my stove top to about medium heat, and then I'm going to add in two tablespoons of my vegan butter. Let that melt down and really grease the bottom of the pan. I'm going to take my broccoli, add it in, season it with similar seasoning to what I season my fish with. It's completely up to you. And then a nice little add-on to give it some good flavor to mix it up from just being traditional broccoli is this coconut aminos. It's like a soy sauce replacement and it kind of has like, I don't know, the teriyaki vibe to it. So I like to generously or gently, whatever you choose, coat the broccoli in that sauce. And then I'm also going to take my lid, place it on top of there so that that broccoli is able to really kind of cook down, shrink a little bit so I'm able to stir it up and I will go in and stir it occasionally and I do not like my broccoli too soggy so this process doesn't take me more than 10 to 15 minutes I like a little crunch if you like them soggy sis I ain't judging you I'm judging your mama but anyway now I'm gonna take my trial and add it into the oven as well so if you are into rotating and turning your potatoes over if you feel like that gives them a better cook you want to do that at least halfway through so here's the fun part our broccoli is finished we're gonna remove it from the heat and then we're going to add it into the separated section of our meal prep bowls it's completely up to you it's all preference if you prefer to arrange your food differently go crazy if you didn't get bowls with dividers go crazy I don't mind my foods touching but for those who do go crazy so I'm just going to take about two of my pot spoons and put it into that section and if I have leftover broccoli which I actually didn't I would add it on top and kind of just fill up the areas that need to be filled in So now it's time to do a test on my potatoes to make sure that they're thoroughly cooked through. I'm just going to take a knife. You can take a sharp edge knife, a butter knife. You can take a fork if you prefer, but you want to do something that's pretty sharp to stick in there and then if it comes off clean you're good if you have trouble sticking it in you might need to leave it in for a little bit longer now that that's done I'm just going to take my knife while it's hot you can let it cool down to a comfortable temperature that way you're able to really handle it as you cut it open and you gently remove the skin from it some people like to keep the skin me personally as it's sitting in the refrigerator and I'm taking it day by day I don't want to have the skin on there so it's really easy to remove as you see I'm just kind of lifting it by the corners after I slice it and I'm peeling it right off So 
I made enough potatoes to give myself a pretty good portion for each day. I'm prepping five bowls and I kind of measured out what I would do with the potatoes by that. Last but not least, as I was actually dividing out those potatoes, I turned my oven off and I removed the foil from my trout and I allowed it to just kind of still cook but not direct heat. So as you see, I'm just going to divide it out by those pre-cut slits that I already had in there, place it into each bowl, and that is it, you guys look at this look at this dish look at this each and every day of the week you finna eat good and you've prepped it up it's nice and clean and you don't have to worry about feeling guilty for you know uber eats doordash hitting you up while you at your station while you at your desk because you didn't practice prior preparation so you guys that is it for today's good eats with shanice we had a different type of vibe a different type of concept but this is something very important that i do on a weekly basis and of course you guys know with my new healthier lifestyle journey it's very essential that we meal prep let me know down below in the comment sections if you're a fan of sweet potatoes have you ever tried steelhead trout did you know the jug sis are you willing to try it because it's really good and if you like salmon i'm pretty sure that you'll fall in love with that as well so yes you guys i hope you enjoyed this episode i hope you learned something new and i hope you incorporate this type of regimen into your weekly routine you guys already know the drill if you like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to comment down below let me know what you'd like to see next and if you are not a part of the gang go ahead and hit that red subscribe button baby tap the bell so you never miss another video upload from your girl we are hitting 100k this year and i don't want you to miss out so yes you guys remember to be interacting letting me know what you want to see here on the channel i will see you guys in the next episode of good eats with shanice love you guys peace